Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all well. Today's video is I'm going to do the Emily Norris mum tag. No one's tagged me in this. I'm brand new on YouTube. And um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be nice for you to kind of get to know me a little bit better in regards to William and what type of mum I am. So, favorite mum hack, get your bags ready the night before, get them all set out by the front door bottles and everything on the side ready to go. You just need to put obviously the milk in there. Most embarrassing mum moment. Um, this would be a family meal when I had, um, I was obviously breastfeeding my little boy and I had major oversupply and unfortunately I didn't feel my milk coming in like I normally do and my dad was like Katie, Katie and he kind of looked at my top and I looked down and there was milk from both sides um, ground swallow me up moment it was awful and my dad didn't think I was embarrassed he was like oh I can't believe you're not embarrassed and I was like well it's mother nature but inside I was dying what part of the day do you love the most the morning when I wake up to William um, as in like I go to his cot and he always smiles, he always reaches up to have a cuddle and then we get a bottle and we literally just sit down stairs and he's all cuddly and warm. He's 18 months now so he's kind of growing out of that kind of wanting cuddle stage so the morning I really really um, love. The worst thing someone said to you when pregnant, I had one of my customers say oh oh, you've lost that lovely figure, or he said something along those lines, and I was like, cheers. Like, pregnant, swollen, like, literally, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, thanks. Inside, I was just, oh. Worst thing to say to a woman ever, even a pregnant one. Baby names you didn't agree on. I really wanted to call our son Chad, because I like... Um, One Tree Hill and Chad Michael Murray is the main character in it and um, he's Lucas in, in One Tree Hill but yeah um, my mum's not having any of it and because our surname is Berry I thought Chad Berry sounded like he would be like a rock and roll like singer and um, and yeah no Martin was not not impressed and I really like Cole and I really like Joshua and he was having none of them not none whatsoever but luckily we both loved William do you co-sleep? <laughs> no and yes. Um, no, he is in his cot most of the time and when he was a baby he was in a Moses basket. However, if he's unwell or um, he gets a little bit ag aggy during the night and he just won't settle, then he comes into our bed. And I must admit that's something I always said would never happen. Um, but I, yeah. I gave in and he's just like I say sometimes it's good for him to kind of come into bed with mum and dad and it just settles him right down and um, so yeah something you bought and never used dummies I bought actually a couple of dummies and um, he did start to use a dummy around about seven eight months old and um, and he did that for like six weeks and then he was kind of like done with it but newborn dummies no never got any use out of them whatsoever um so yeah he's just not a dummy baby he doesn't like him three hospital bag must-haves um phone charger earphones and then something that is gonna make you feel better about yourself whatever that may be whether that may be a lipstick whether that may be for me it was my hair straighteners just taking my hair straighteners and being able to just straighten my hair and look a little bit more human because I've got naturally curly hair and um, that for me really helped are you a routine mum or a go with the flow mum and what does the bed bedtime routine look like um I am a go with the flow mum very much so um I am totally led by William, who is making the strangest sounds right now, but that's because he's settling to go to sleep. Um, so yeah, he, he, I'm totally led by him. I've never been able to put him in a cot to have a nap. He always has a nap on me. I know a lot of people would say you're making a rod for your own back by doing that, 
but that is just how I've been with him. Um, I kind of just go by his routine, if that makes sense. Um, and the evening time, we do have a routine. We have a routine of, you know, we take him up for his bath. Um, I then get him all ready for bed. And then it is a bottle story. And then I normally rock um, him to sleep or just rock in the rocking chair. And then I put him down and he kind of self-soothes. So, yeah, I'm a definitely a more go with the flow, see what he wants to do type mum. What type of labour did you have and what pain relief? Um, my labour was um, a bit of an odd one because I lost my water at 33 weeks on a dog walk of all places and um, I was induced with William at 34 weeks. He was born at 34 and 5 so it took me a really long time to get into labour. Um, I didn't have any pain relief apart from gas and air and the one thing I will say is when you have syntocin, big mistake make sure you have an epidural and um, yeah his labour was full of complications we lost his heartbeat quite a few times Um yeah it's something that I don't really like to think about um, because I still feel quite um, I, it, I don't know it's just one of those things that I, I don't like to think about it and um, I obviously I love to think about him being born that was amazing um, but the lead up to it was actually quite traumatic um, and yeah there was a lot of things that kind of happened that shouldn't have necessarily have happened um, but oh well hopefully next baby it'll be the labour that I want. Have you ever been mum shamed in Costa by a member of staff? which I wasn't very impressed with. Um, my little boy was eating a tea cake and as usual, things go on the floor with babies. I'm not one of these ones that picks it up on the floor straight away. I always do it at the end because if I pick it up, William sees it as a game. So then he'll just throw it on the floor again. Um, so I always do pick up all the stuff that's on the floor. I'm not one of these ones that leaves it. Um, but yeah, he kind of walked past at Christmas time. It was really busy. And he kind of was like, oh, and just kind of walked past and he kind of did it in kind of view of everyone and kind of, it just made me feel really embarrassed. And I, I just thought that, that was wrong, really. He was a member of staff and he was an, an older member of staff as well. And I just thought he should have known better. Um, yeah, not very good Costa. <laughs> the biggest challenges you've faced since becoming a mum. Um, William was prem, so he stayed in neonatal, and unfortunately, on day five, I was told that I had to leave hospital. Um, there's nothing worse than leaving your child with someone overnight. Um, it goes against every fibre in your body, um, and I remember the first night, just come home, and I just sobbed on my husband. Um, and I really do believe that if I didn't have my mum and my dad, mum, dad, and my husband um, there for me i don't think i think i'd have possibly had postnatal depression but i am the type of person where i do think you always have to see that there's always someone worse off and my little boy wasn't born at 24 weeks you know he came home um and you've always got to look at the brighter side um but yeah neonatal was really really hard just leaving him in hospital and i remember i had one nurse kind of one day say to me oh he's had such a bad night he's been so upset all night and I thought yeah that's because he wants his mum and unfortunately you know I wasn't allowed to stay so mm, yeah but it is what it is isn't it at the end of the day he was happy and healthy and um, you know it could have been a lot lot worse so you've always got to um, look on the bright side definitely the best piece of advice and the type of advice that I would give to new mums. Um, just take everyone's advice as of, with, uh, with a pinch of salt. Definitely, 100%. You will get so many opinions. I had in neonatal so many nurses say one thing and then half an hour later another nurse saying completely the opposite and I've never been so confused in all of my life as a new mum there was nothing worse than being told one thing and then being told another the one thing I will say to you is you know your baby 
um, you've grown that baby and even dads, you know your baby and um, you know what is right for your baby. So just just have a little bit of confidence in yourself and honestly, you will know what to do. Um, but like I said, just take everyone's advice. Be, be like polite about it, kind of say, oh, thank you, thank you for that. But honestly, just let it go completely over your head. Who's your mum crush and who do you tag? Okay, I'm not going to tag anyone because I don't I don't really know many mums on here and the ones that I do know, I think I've already done the Emily Norris tag. Um but my mum crush is a toss up between Mama Reed, which is Ash and Rebecca Lamb. Um I really love Mama Reed. I just I think Ash is brilliant. Um she's so glamorous. Like she always makes me like want to like put on makeup and do my hair and put a nice outfit on and what I love about it is she seems like a really fair mum and um, she seems to always have it together and um, I'm sure there are times when she doesn't necessarily but that's how she kind of comes across and she just seems like a really genuinely nice kind person um, and I just love her I just think she's brilliant and I think Ella and Charlie are a complete credit credit to her and again Rebecca Lamb I just she's a northern girl she's from Yorkshire um, like myself and yeah I just love her I think she's quite she's she reminds me a lot of myself she's kind of got like a little bit of a sassy side um, and a little bit of a feisty side as well and I like that and I just I think them two are the type of people if I met them I think we could be friends um, yeah definitely I just think they they're both such great mums and like I say and Woody and Alfie they're they're such cuties but yeah honestly they both them two they're absolutely brilliant mums and I just really really enjoy watching their channel so guys there you go that is pretty much my questions all answered I hope that you have enjoyed today's video if you have then please do give it a massive thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe to our channel and yeah I upload on a Monday a Wednesday and a Friday anyway guys I'm gonna go you have a really nice evening and I'll speak to you soon